So my name is Avishai Barnoy, and I'm a PhD student at Tel Aviv University for biophysics. I have a master's in chemistry from the Hebrew University. And today I will talk to you about my side project that helps me choose what to eat for dinner. So what's my problem? As a human being, I need to eat every day to sus well, I need to eat because I need to do things in my life, like, you know, live. Um, so uh, I need to choose what to eat, not just cook it. So um, what I used to do as a bachelor, bachelor student, I used to make this huge pot on Sunday and eat it for five straight days. Well, unfortunately, I married uh, someone and I fell in love with her and she told me that this course of action befits psychopaths um, and I should not do it. So now we came up with, you know, feeding two mouths and, you know, things came around. Now we have two kids. They're cute, but they also need sustenance. So now we need to feed four mouths. So we need, so instead of, you know, this thing I did with, with taking off this mental load by cooking one now I need to cook for four people things that all four would like to eat and, you know, have this variety. And that, again, puts a lot of mental load on our life. Another thing you need to know is that me and my wife have very demanding jobs. And me as a PhD student, she works at the at an, at an NGO. So by the time we come home, we're already exhausted. We, we, we like, we need to, we, we have so many tasks to do, tasks to do at home. So we're, we're just stumped. So an additional thing that I love is I love over solving simple problems, like taking some, taking a small nail and hitting it with the biggest hammer I can find. The second thing is I like over selling simple jokes. So what happened is that on Twitter, uh, I came out, what should I make for dinner? So I pretended to be a bot. And I was like, um, people will tag me and I will tell them, make this, make that, make this. And then I came up, okay, maybe that's a joke, but maybe I can make this. Um, and I like knitting. And if you want to know why I wrote it, because please refer to the previous bulletin. Um, okay, so what I did. Um, I went down and wrote down everything about what we like to eat for dinner. Um, everything in a CSV file. So... Um, what we like to eat. How much do we like it? We I got like about 40 meals, but name in Hebrew, in English. Um, uh, recipe suggestion. How long does it take to cook? How long does it take to cut on the cutting board? Everything. And there are like a bunch of, of features in that file. So now that I have the database, I can go on and describe the, the project called Deep Cook. Um, so what I did is I, on top of the, <clears throat> of the database, I wrote down uh, functions that take that data, call from that database and return objects. And the importance of taking, of, of, of returning objects is now, you know, as, as the same pe person I, you know, my wife described, I uh, work on Linux, just terminal, and I, I also code in Vim. That's where I write my, my code, um, the same thing to do. Um, so. Um, now that I have my CLI, I can, you know, I can go on it, type the fun Python, whatever, and get the suggestion, right? And do I want to do it? Do I want to make it? And then, uh, well, what if, God forbids, my wife wants to, call, to, to use it, then I had to, to, to generate uh, a, web app, a web app, which, is, which I use Streamlit, which is an extremely easy way to publish your data app. Uh, it's written through Python, and it's free, and it puts it on the internet, which is amazing. And now comes the question, why, how, well, now with GPT chat and, you know, Google that's been out for you know, a couple of years, why would DeepCook be needed? Like, why is it not obsolete? And the reason is, is that this solves my problem. This takes off my mental load. Because if I go on the GPT chat and ask it, what should I make for dinner? Give me a recipe. I still need to assess how long, does, will, will people in my family eat this? Do I have the ingredients? So. Although general purpose models and, and, and uh, search engines solve my problem, solve a problem, they don't solve my specific problem. That's it. Thank you very much.